In any given year, Alabama is known to have one or two elite wide receivers, and it seems like every draft. We see it every season, where Alabama produces some elite wide receiver talent. But over the past couple of seasons, Alabama has really struggled to put out that elite talent that we've gotten accustomed to seeing at the receiver position. They haven't had a first round wide receiver since 2022, but this year they have a player who has become a bit of a sleeper in the 2024 NFL Draft, and that is Jermaine Burton. Burton is a player who started his collegiate career at Georgia before transferring to the Tide, and he has been one of the more productive wide receivers in this offense. Today, we're going to be talking about Burton and ultimately where I believe he gets selected in the 2024 NFL Draft. But hey guys, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment and let me know which players you guys would like to see me break down in a future video, and without further ado, let's get into it. The numbers for Burton are not going to jump off the page in any way, shape, or form. In 2022, Burton finished with 40 receptions for 677 yards and 7 touchdowns, and he was one of Bryce Young's favorite wide receivers. In 2023, he did see an increase in his numbers as he finished with 39 receptions for 798 yards and 8 touchdowns. He is not a guy who is getting a lot of buzz at the top of draft boards, but he is a player who looks like he could be an interesting sleeper in the draft class. Burton has a great frame and a good catch radius. He is 6 foot, 194 pounds, but he plays a lot bigger than he is. He has a really good large frame, and he possesses the ideal frame to play on the boundary as a wide receiver. Burton's speed is one of the most interesting parts of his game. He has speed to win at all three levels of the field, and he is an extremely explosive athlete. He goes 0 to 60 and it seems like a split second and he does a really nice job of winning down the field with his speed. He also has excellent ball tracking ability, and does a really good job of finding the football in the air. He has soft hands, and he has shown the ability to make catches. He has great speed, great hands, and those are two very important parts of a wide receiver. Burden has also shown some really nice twitch in terms of his route running. He is able to stop and go on a dime and shows really nice quickness and acceleration in terms of his route running, which is something that I love from him. He has that short area quickness to win off the line of scrimmage, and he can win at each level of the field. He is able to create a decent amount of space on his routes, and he's able to win his reps, which you love to see from the wide receiver position. Burton has a few areas that I would like to see improve. For one, he is not an amazing wide receiver after the catch. He has great speed, but it never seemed like he was super elusive in the open field and he wasn't able to turn his catches into big gains. Probably the biggest concern of Jermaine Burton's game is his character. He has had the tendency to taunt other players, taunt other fan bases, and even hit a fan at one point. We know the NFL is the no fun league. So the taunting penalties are going to be taken serious at the NFL level, and we saw it in the AFC Championship game with Zay Flowers who got that taunting penalty. I think his character could be a major defining part of what pushes him further down draft boards because you want high character, high football IQ players, and Burton just doesn't seem to have the personality that you would like to have in your locker room. The last thing of his that I would like to see improve was Burton did struggle to gain separation against press man coverage. His play strength at times was a bit lackluster, but his upside is certainly there if he can get a little stronger. Jermaine Burton is a very fun wide receiver prospect. He has blazing speed, he's a good separator, and has really solid hands. It is an absolutely loaded wide receiver class, and I have him as my number 16 wide receiver. I like what he offers quite a bit in terms of his versatility and his speed, but there are a few areas that I would like to see improve. Burton is my number 90 overall player in the class. Jermaine Burton to me would work best as a vertical threat in a vertical offense. He has the quickness to win deep down the field, and he has that short area burst as well. I think due to his sharp route running, his solid hands, you could put him in a lot of different offensive schemes, and I think he could thrive. But due to his speed, I want to see him as a deep ball threat pushed down the field, and I'd like to see him in a vertical offense. 
My comp for Jermaine Burton is former Seattle Seahawks wide receiver Doug Baldwin. Big shout out to Bleacher Report for that comp, but I think this is one of the most perfect comps of the entire class. They have almost identical frames and were both elite speed weapons and great route runners. I think Baldwin is one of the most underappreciated wide receivers of the last decade, and I think if Burton can get everything to go his way, he could be a very similar player to what Doug Baldwin was for Seattle. So that's my comparison for him. Jermaine Burton is an awesome wide receiver prospect. There are a few concerns with his game and his character, but I think he's going to test really well at the Combine, and I think he's going to be a player that's going to rise up draft boards. Ultimately, I believe that Jermaine Burton will be a third-round pick in the 2024 NFL Draft.